Hey guys, thanks for watching. I have uh, Tim out here visiting from Mississippi, so I'm gonna try to take advantage of the time that he's here. So, Tim, we're gonna play a, a game of horse here. The short game expert versus me. We're going 58, live Yeah, I have a 60, so okay, that's fine. Perfect. And um, you have the honor. So, th so the, this is the, the way we play it in okay. Long Beach anyway. Is So, if it's closer, you give the other guy a letter. But it's got to be within the the length of the flag stick to count. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right we'll, we'll go red flag. Uh, are we gonna call out the checkers or just kind of hit it? No, no. You can. That's no caveats either. Okay. Like you could just pick a spot and a and a flag. Yeah. Woo! Just put the brakes on. All right. That's about inside. That's inside three feet. That might be inside two feet. All right, so as we're walking up to those, Tim, and some of the people who would have seen the instructional video yeah. that that we did, we're we getting a lesson. So, what was, was that steep or shallow that yeah, shot, yeah, and I why? Mean, I mean, obviously, you know, with the divot, it was it was definitely steep, and it's still we just kind of like like I was saying, you know, you rely on your arms a lot mm -hmm. in your golf swing. So, you know, when you take it back, it's it's it gets kind of narrow. The elbows sort of get apart from each other. The club gets close to you. And then you pull down on it like this, mm -hmm. and then it causes your your strike to get real narrow and steep at the bottom. So um, we just got to get you a little bit shallower, and then life's gonna be pretty good for you. All right, pick out another location. Winter keep picking. Yep. Right here. Go to the blue flag this time. Okay. Sounded great. A little hot oh. though. So Tim, landed a little bit hotter than I expected. I thought that was just the anticipation of the... Yeah, the, yeah. the slope. I thought that slope would knock it down the fluid a little bit farther than I normally would. But I thought the slope would kind of stop it. There you go. There you go. All right, give him a letter. H-H. H-H. That was a lot better. A lot better strike there. Yeah, you hear it. And that lie actually is kind of a little tight. Yeah. Kind of matted down there. To the blue flag, Tim. I do that off of like good sitting, like up lies a lot. Have that really good lie. Yeah. You need to be really shallow. And just brush it right off the top. Uh -huh. But, but I always get it like a little too low, you know, and just only hit it off the, the top of the. Right, base. and that's just so the, when that club comes in steep and the ball's sitting up high. Oh, going got right you, there. got yeah. you. Yeah, when you're in the rough, even if you're sitting up good, sometimes you can think like, oh, I gotta swing, swing down on it. All right, is that inside the stick? It is, it is. Okay, H-O to H. Pick a shot that you think would be very difficult for me as a, as a, steep, as a steeper okay. person, so, a, a formerly steeper so shipper. It would be uh, up slope, maybe in, if we can find a little grain, up slope into the grain. Wet would be really difficult. All right, let's do this. We'll, we'll kind of fluff it up a little bit mm -hmm. on top of the on top of the rock. So this one here, you really just want to brush it right off the top. Because if, if I get, get steep here, it's going to dig a lot. Yeah. So we're just going to really try to hit a nice little little baby draw, really. Kind of brush it right off the top. Oh, really good. That is, actually, I think that's a little outside the mark. Possibly, Selena. All right, so normally I'd be like that, but I want to be much more like that. A little wider on the way back. Stay, up, stay what feels like on your back foot. Is that more? Yeah, on the back foot. There 
There you go. Uh, can, can just, I just didn't anticipate how hard I had to hit that. Okay. It's much better strike. All right, let's go see if Tim actually gave me a letter, though, because in this game, you got to get inside the flag stick. I think we're going to be a little short. Because the idea with this game is that most things outside the flag stick are going to be two putts anyway. So, okay, so it's H-O to H. Tim, you lose your, you keep your choice, though. Okay. Where are you going? We're going to go to that first one. Okay. my choice over the bunker now this is going to be one that would be absolutely terrifying for me we're going to go real difficult down here the down slope there just before the bunker mm -hmm. to but we got to loft it over the bunker and there is like almost no grass under it it's mostly just sand so this is going to be tough well the good news is with this down slope and tight lie your steepness is going to help um, the ball is going to still try to come out fast. Yeah. Uh, so you might want to open the face just a touch to slow it down. Okay. But I, I believe in you on this one. I think you can hit this one tight. Okay. Love that. A little rebound into it, but it was shallow enough to. I don't know. I think I'm just outside of the stick, though, actually. Classy shot. Really good. Let's go see if that's a qualifier. Uh, I think it's so. Be a little deep. I think so. I'm really happy with the contact. Yeah, it was good. All right, lay that stick down, Tim. You're good. You're good. All right, H O R to H O. All right, let's go to the bunker. Let's go. Uh, the red flag will be a little more realistic. So what changes as far as like all the chipping philosophy stuff we've been talking about in, in the other videos? What changes in, in the sand? Um, I mean, it's still the same. It's still the same ideas. It's just the stock shot out of the sand. The face is more open. The ball is a little more forward, and then uh, because of that, you're delivering more loft, so you have to give it a little more speed. Okay. Right. But I mean, it's still the same ideas. The same general ideas. Great shot. That's a qualifier. Oh, oh no. Not a bad shot. Not a bad shot, but not, not brilliant. Okay, H-O-R-S to uh -oh. H-O. Uh -oh. Back against the wall here, folks. All right, make your final decision. All right, let's go right over here. All right, to the blue flag. Oh, classy. All right, so I noticed that with the 60 degree wedge, th thinking about our, our pieces of, yeah, it was almost all the pieces. It was yeah, yeah, fall back in stance, feet close together, hands high, and uh, face face more square. Yeah. Was the face square or shut? Uh, I played it pretty square, but I stood close to it and I had a real narrow stand. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Spade is a good game. <laughs> All right. That was a good game. All right, Tim's uh, a foot away. I'm a, I'm a foot and a half. Not bad. Not bad. Getting better. So, Tim, the last thing I want you to talk about here because is the difference, something that we talk a lot about in the school, something we talk a lot about in the Be Better Golf putting system. The difference between training and testing. What do most people do all this? What is, how are people getting that wrong, almost everybody? Well, like what we just did there was a test. Okay. Right, so we were testing our skills and, and then just looking at the results, okay? Um, if there's something that you don't like, maybe it's your contact, maybe it's your trajectory control, 
maybe it's just literally the how you anticipate lies, you need to have something firm that you kind of circle back to and then go train it and then test again. Don't just continually test. Um, that's where people kind of get in trouble is they, they, they test, they don't like the results, they don't really have anything concrete or objective to go train, and then they're, they're kind of stuck and they don't really know what to do other than just keep testing. What were you saying at, at the school? You're saying about like the scale and you're trying to lose weight. What was that? Oh yeah, it'd be like if you were trying to lose 10 pounds and you step on the scale, that's a test, right? Yeah. And then if you don't like what it says, you step off and then you step back on. You test again and you step off, you step back on. And you're continually testing. Not doing anything. But you're not doing change. anything to train, like working out, eat drinking water, eating the right food, so right. on and so forth, right? So yeah. it, it seems silly until we put, use those term, that terminology with God. Yeah. And then it's like, oh yeah, well maybe that is kind of what I do when I practice. Yeah. So think about training, testing, a great way to, to combine those two things. Check out the Be Better Golf short game scoring system over here. And also over here, somewhere in one of these links, the Be Better Golf putting system, which is coming out very soon. Thanks, Tim. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Enjoyed it. All right, guys, if you would be interested in seeing Tim in person, go to Old Waverly in Mississippi in West Point, Mississippi, or contact us and put the name of the city you would like to see a Be Better Golf scoring school at. A Be Better Golf scoring school at is what I was trying to say. So send us an email, contact BeBetterGolf at gmail.com. The next Be Better Golf school is Be Better Golf full game school with Tony Lutzak at Old Atlanta Country Club coming up soon. There's still spots available, so email me about that. Before I go out to Atlanta, I'm gonna be stopping in West Point, Mississippi, where Tim, is a instructor and I'm gonna challenge him to a rematch. So the first time I played Tim in a game of horse, almost two years ago now, I gave him no letters and he completely blanked me. This time I gave him two letters, which for me is pretty good. It's progress anyway. And uh, now less than a month later, I'm gonna be challenging him to another game of horse, which you guys will see on the channel. So I'm uh, trying and trying it's going to be very, very difficult to beat him, but if I really practice hard, maybe I can, I can give him that R or worse. So stay tuned to the channel for that. Thanks for watching, everybody.